today on Mon's House. Who better to host our haunted Halloween special than psychic Sylvia Brown? That was the one day your dad could get up and walk around. Enter if you dare. America's most chilling haunts. It is ugly and creepy. Oh, oh, oh. Plus, think nothing scares Sylvia? Wait till you hear about our most frightening Halloween ever. I started seeing big red orbs go through the whole house. Sylvia's haunted Halloween. That's what's coming up right now. Well, my next guests say that their visit to a restaurant in Atlanta left them wondering who else was dining with them. <laughs> Take a look at this. The investigators, they contact us often, and they do a very scientific ways of doing and going about investigating things. They have given us a lot of uh, extensive report on what they have seen and heard and recorded. We go about proving the existence of ghosts through EVP or electronic voice phenomena. We have captured a numerous amount of EVPs here. We experienced different noises and scratches that we really couldn't explain, but probably the most, the best experience was down in the, hall, in the hallway office area. While we were down there, we heard and saw a, a doorknob shake. And then from there, we heard footsteps and voices. One of our investigators shot a picture from her room across the hall, capturing me walking. Um, once we started to review that picture, we saw that in the mirror beyond me was a black form. It's, it's left me at somewhat of a loss. I, I can't explain the picture, so I have to say it's, it's a paranormal. It's a paranormal picture. There are others who have claimed that they have seen the shadows of the lady who was married and lived in this house until 1920s. And then there are others who have claimed that they have heard music and, and some walking on the steps. I would encourage people, if they're open about it, come and take a look, walk around, and think of them as friendly spirits around us. Please welcome Kevin and Tim to the show. Hey guys, tell us about this unusual experience that you had while at Anthony's. Talk about this. While we were down in the hallway, um, while we were investigating, first we had heard the doorknob jiggle, and then we kind of looked at it, checked it out, wasn't real sure, but as we walked on down the hallway, we started hearing footsteps and then voices coming from behind us. And so we sat still for a little while and continued to hear the footsteps coming. And, and now, I mean, there couldn't have been anybody else upstairs, no echo from the next building, right? No, we had checked, we had called on the radio to our base and asked, you know, if there was anybody in or around our area, and they said there was not. You also took some strange pictures, right? We got a copy of them, let's take, take a look. Or tell us about this picture. Uh, in this picture, I'm working on a camera that keeps going out in one of the rooms. Uh, you know, let me just stop you here, and then I'll let you continue. All right. Do you realize that when you're in a haunted house, because I've been in so many of them, they drain the batteries. Have you ever mm -hmm. noticed that? Oh, yes. Yeah, Just this drain. And I, when I go into a haunted house, I drain the battery. I don't doubt that. Mm -hmm. Wait, yeah. you, um, where, was that that image in that mirror? What is it? Right, if you look just over my shoulder in the mirror, you're no, seeing... No, that's a monk. A that's monk. a monk. Okay. That's wow. a monk. Uh, yeah, in that particular room, we had actually hardwired cameras. They were both plugged into the, the existing wall outlets and then run to base where we're monitoring it there and couldn't get a picture in that room. Oh, no. Uh, no, I've been there when, you know, I'd love for you to get in touch with me because I, I, both of my paranormal investigators that used to go with me to places are, have died. So you might give me your cards later because I need somebody to go with me. Well, I'm talking about, let me uh, listen. Philip, I'm trying to make oh, okay. a business deal so here. <laughs> There's a Philip, please look this up because you're very smart about this. There's a Philip Cantor, you know, like uh, the name Cantor, C-A-N-T-O-R. And then there's a Rose that's there. Rose? Rose. That's the woman. I don't know if that's the woman in the picture, what but there's a woman in white. This could that possibly be the woman in the hospital? I mean, yeah. not in the hospital, I mean uh, in the basement, yeah. hallway? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we'll in the hallway. And was she Towards also the an basement. employee of the that's restaurant? That's where you get that cold spot, you know, that mm -hmm. real... Was, was she an employee, employee of the restaurant? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And you also got voices. We did. We captured several EVPs. Now I want to listen to this. Listen I, well, they were saying go home. They really were saying go home. Okay. Play it for us. Can you hear it? Go home. Go home. Play it again? Go home. Go home. 
<laughs> what? Why didn't you just book? Well, <laughs> the the, 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 the first thing about time I have a ghosty actor <laughs> talk to me, I'm out the door. Well, we be bang. We do have some investigators that investigate with headphones, so they would be able to hear something like that as they're recording it. But typically, uh, EVPs you do not hear with your naked ears. No, you can't. Once you uh -uh. get home and start reviewing everything, you find out what they're trying to tell you. You can yep. be right in the same room, and you'll get something on the mm -hmm. EVP that you can't hear with the naked ear. In this particular case, now you heard voices around this, but weren't able to record those. But then we the voice... Did you we actually hear this? Some voices that we were hearing and some shuffling once we went to bed. Yeah. We slept like in the restaurant. Like people talking in another room. But this is above and beyond that. Oh, yeah. This, is, this is big time. We'll take a little break. We'll be back right after this.